What's up, everyone? Drew Snipes here with Beers and Gears. And on today's episode, we're going to do a review and demo of this K Line Pedals Ragnarok Reverb and Delay Dual Effects Pedal. And I'm super excited about this thing. Uh, looking to put this on my live board because I have the Attack to K pedal, which is an amazing pedal. I just don't ever use it, it's just sitting there holding up space. And I was kind of looking to add another reverb. Currently, in my selection, I have a Boss DD200. A Walrus Audio Reverb and a Keeley Caverns pedal. So DD200 is just set up to be a normal delay. Uh, Walrus Audio is just a nice trail, and then you got the Caverns, which is kind of a modulated delay and a, a longer, lush trail, which is really awesome. I love that pedal. So I wanted to do a doubler effect and then some crazy reverb because why not? You know, if you're gonna have a reverb and at the end of your show, just go nuts, right? Just hit the thing on and make a lot of noise. So that's kind of what I wanted to see if this K-Line pedal would do. And that's what we're going to find out today. So before we go to the table and unbox this thing, we're going to go through the signal chain, which is going to be this Ivanez Gem Jr. Going into the pedal, into the clean channel of the Randall RX120RH, going into the matching cab, mic'd up with an SM57. This is your clean channel. <laughs> All right, so we're over at the table. Let's unbox this thing and see what we get. So K-Line Pedals always comes in a nice cardboard box. Wrapped up in plastic, which is pretty cool. No manual. No, no manual. Here she is. A nice purple. Ooh, I like this a lot. So, two sides, you get your delay and your reverb. Uh, delay controls, delay, level, and repeat. Reverb, not sure what PRD is, but you got your decay and your mix. We'll see what that does when we hook it up. Again, no manual, which is awesome. So, made in China. All right, let's wire this thing up and see what we can get. All right, so we have, we have it all hooked up here. We have uh, input, output, and your 9-volt standard uh, pedal supply, pedal power supply. Let's turn everything to 12 o'clock on both sides. And we're going to start with delay. Pretty nice. I mean, I don't really expect it to be fancy, so that's pretty simple and easy to go. Um, See how much delay time we have. So delay all the way up. So not a lot of time, but I don't really need it to. So that's fine. That is fine. Repeats should go forever. Easy enough. That's what I want right there. Yeah, 
that's what I, that's exactly what I was looking for. So super awesome. So, I mean, awesome, awesome delay. Uh, that's what I was looking for. So let's switch over to the reverb. Everything at 12 o'clock. Let's figure out what this knob does. This is your reverb. Let's turn the mix down. And decay all the way up. See how crazy it gets. I like that. I think it's twelve o'clock. Let's figure out what this is. It's just really weird there's no manual. But there really isn't. In the comments, let me know what that's supposed to be. I mean, I can hear the difference, but what does PRD stand for? I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen that before. So let me know in the comments. PRD. Let's turn it back to 12 o'clock. Turn the decay up. Mix up. <laughs> I really like it. Let's uh, let's turn them both on. Add some more delay time to it. Add a little bit more repeats to it. Let's have some fun. I really like this thing.
So final thoughts on the K-Line Ragnarok delay and reverb effects pedal. I think this thing is super awesome. The delay side is definitely going to give me what I was looking for, which is a nice doubler effect. It's just a simple and easy delay. Uh, not as long as I expected it to be, but you can definitely get some length out of the delay time. But simple and easy. No complaints there. Reverb was definitely usable. Uh, it's not as amazing as the Keeley Caverns pedal. I think no matter how you set that pedal up, that's an amazing pedal. Uh, but it's definitely going to give me some washy reverb sounds, which is definitely going to be usable uh, on my board. So I definitely appreciate that for what it is. All in all, for $70, $80, I forget how much they were, but amazing pedal. Great delay, great reverb, all in one tiny little purple box, which is a pretty sick color as well. So awesome job, K-Line. I really like this thing. It's definitely going to go on my board right after this video. So thank you so much. Uh, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate all of you. I'm up to 547 at the time of recording this video, and I really appreciate all of the, the comments, all of the likes and subscribe subscriptions. Got to get that watch time up, so keep on watching my videos. Go back and check some out, and let me know what you think about the uh, the audio interface and my recording setup now, which is, I think, I think it's giving me a better sound. I think things sound good um, when I'm driving in the car, listening to my videos again. So let me know in the comments. Again, thank you so much for watching. This has been Drew Snipes with Beers and Gears. This is the K-Line Ragnarok Delay Reverb Effects Pedal. I'll see you guys in the next one.